Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming to you with another Transformer review. This time we're going to take a look at this big guy right here. And that is Just Die Toys WST, world's smallest astrotrain or military transport anime colors. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the box first off and give you a brief history on this figure here. Uh, so military transports in homage to the 1985 uh, Transformers Decepticon Astrotrain, obviously, whose, fun whose function was mainly as a military transport. Um, it's a fictional character made by third-party transformer company Just Die Toys in 2011. And as I mentioned, he was an homage uh, both to the 85 Astrotrain and the smallest transforming Transformers toy line which was legitimate, uh, unlike uh, this figure, which is uh, a third-party figure. Um, so Just Like Toys first teaser development of Solo Assault Group Military Transport and their Blitzwing that they created back in April 2010. In December 2010, pictures of an early prototype of military transport were posted to the internet and in 2011 Oct of October, pre-orders went up for the white and black recolor, a TF Source exclusive. Unfortunately, TF Source has long since stopped carrying Just Die Toys products under the pressure of Hasbro. An original third-party Transformer mold designed to copy G1 Astrotrain, this version of the toy is in the color of Astrotrain in the animated series. It turns from robot to space shuttle or locomotive, he comes with uh, rifle, labels, instructions, and a collector card. So 2011, uh, they also did a recolor of uh, this particular figure in black and white. So with that brief history and backstory, let's take a nice close-up look at the box. Uh, you can see in front there, a uh, fantastic picture of Astro Train. And what I like is this awesome uh, battle damage that he has there on his arm. Just great artwork. It's obviously uh, just been in battle or just finished battle. Uh, seems to be exhausted. It's obviously hurt. And uh, beautiful facial sculpt there of him. Again, same picture on the front or the top of the box. The side of the box has his three modes, uh, robot, locomotive train, and shuttle. The back is a standard Just Eye Toys picture of all the uh, Dinobots in battle with the Constructicons. And at the bottom, instead of your regular uh, uh, tech specs that you need the uh, decoder shield to look through, they just give you a rough guideline, I guess, of uh, his uh, stats. I guess strength and speed are his strongest and those are probably maxed out or at nine and then just do a rough estimate for the other ones. You can see the stamp from Just Eye Toys dot Hong Kong there, 2011. And then at the bottom of the box, uh, excessive force is not necessary. Transform with extreme care, small parts not for children. 2011, Just Eye Toys company limited made in china and that is the box okay uh, without further ado uh let's crack her open and see what's on the inside okay so how he looks uh as you pull everything out of the box would be just like this uh standard uh just eye toys clear clamshell followed by oh, get this out of the way uh, instruction sheet oops World's smallest robots, military transport. No, I've never applied. Um, I've never applied the actual WST stickers on any of my figures. I've heard, uh, especially with the Just Side Toys ones, they may look nice, but their longevity is uh, not so good. So most people just tend to get um, uh, another company's third-party stickers uh, to put on on the figure. Uh, standard cardboard card here. Same picture of what's on the front of the box. 
on the other side there. Flashing between robot, locomotive, and space shuttle modes almost in instantaneously, he is an expert at picking out the moment of utter perplexity in his opponent's eyes. It's at this moment that he strikes without mercy the fact that he's prey, that his prey, which they spelt wrong there, the fact that his prey don't have any idea what hit them is particularly pleasing to his murderous gang. The idea that his victim's last thoughts were a tangle of fear and panic keep him happy while performing his most mundane tasks, such as transport between battles. So again, similar picture, or identical, to what's on the back of the box. It's funny with the uh, with that typo there. I never uh, read that before. And then, a rather long... Where's the front? If you're not familiar with uh, how to transform him, uh, instruction manual taking you from, well, first off, showing what's in there his ionic displacer rifle, the shuttle, and then blah, 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 how to transform him from shuttle all the way to locomotive, and then on the back side, uh, I guess it was still locomotive mode there. To all the way to uh, robot and where to apply the stickers. So let's put that back there and then taking a look at him and his clamshell. Standard uh, Just Eye Toys clamshell. Um, there's his ionic rifle. Is in there. Will I even open this guy? Yeah, okay. So you take the top off. That pops out, leaving you with his uh, rifle, very similar, if not identical to his G1 rifle. And then this beautiful, beautiful WST figure that actually has weight because there is metal is main body there. You can see the difference between the plastic and the metal. Uh, it gives them actually quite a bit of weight. So there is a beautiful Just Eye Toys anime color Astro Train. Okay, so without further ado, why don't we uh, transform this guy and see what it looks like in all three modes. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, obviously, he's in shuttle mode, but he's still not complete when he comes out of the box. His tail fin is actually here. So you just lift it up, and then you're gonna slide it back all the way. So there is WST Astro Train in his shuttle mode. Very nice. Love the anime colors on it. Uh, we'll do a little close up there to get a little more detail. But very, very good in terms of matching pretty much what the G1 uh, figure entailed. Spirit thrusters. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna go from shuttle mode to train mode. You're going to shove his oops, his uh, top wings there back in. Uh, you're going to pull out, without being too forceful, uh, his midsection from his the bottom there. Separate it. God, hope I don't break this guy. Next, you're going to lift up. Uh, you can see it's got a little a little uh, prong there that goes into the metal part there. So you're just gonna sort of pull it in and up, at which point you can then flip in his shuttle cockpit, which goes in nicely. Uh, these flaps then go back down 
tab it back together. Uh, that is the front of, if it's tabbed properly, that's the front of the locomotive. Okay, next you are going to uh, take his wings, you're going to flip down the front wheels. So now you have the front wheels and the wings go down, tuck the little tabs underneath. You can see the little Just Eye Toys 2011 stamp and then fold in the remaining wheels there. And there you have a very nice version of Astro Train as a train. Again, a little close up on the details there. Much like the original, always fantastic. A little uh, detailing in the plastic there of what entails. I like how they still kept with uh, chrome for uh, the metal on the wheels to help them move together. The front, top. Again, you still see the thrusters, but uh, if I remember correctly, those were used um, in the cartoon when he was on the track a couple times, I think, just to help him move along, especially when he was in train mode and then wanted to change into uh, shuttle mode and take off. Okay, so the next step is while in train, we're going to go to robot mode. And how do we do that again? We... Pull the wings back. Uh, can fold these wheels back in again. We're gonna pull the bottom out. Actually, first we're gonna fold these back. So we are now looking at the front. These pull down and separate to form his legs. I'm always worried about that. There we go. You pull it down to hear a little pop so that they're nice and even there, as you can see. Uh, so his wings don't fold any further back, but you just tuck those in. The top of the shuttle literally pops off, folds down on a mechanism and tabs into his back. You rotate the head sculpt around so you can actually see where he's going. Next, you, it's probably easier if we pull his arms out. Now, I've got my uh, Lotus gloves on. So his arms are in the side there. Uh, you can see the ball joint right there, uh, shoulder, and then arm. I just like to use his little gun. They pop out and then they move quite nicely. They're very stiff, but they come up that this figure is very tight it's not uh i've shown some other third party loose uh wsts that i have and uh they're not the same quality as the just eye toys next you can shove his uh, little ionic rifle in and he is almost complete except he's missing his uh standard faceplate which you fold out from his chest and then I don't know you can put it wherever you want people tend to say oh it's got to be down here it's got to be up there I don't care I like it looking there now he never had much maneuverability with his arms in terms of being able to point straight ahead but so in keeping with the G1 figure, we have WST Just Eye Toys Military Transport Anime Color Astrotrain. Very, very solid figure. Excellent addition to the WST line. You should have them in your collection. If you don't, 
Like, that's just beautiful. Look at that back. Yeah, he's got the kibble, but it's nice and tight. Just I Toys knows how to do it. Beautiful colors, beautiful detail, beautiful symmetry of the figure. Love it. If you don't have this guy in your set, uh, pick him up. There is uh, this version. Then there is the black and white version of him. And then there's also one that says, um, it's a black and white version, I believe, still, but it says uh, 500 pieces. I don't remember what exactly that one is in response to. But a beautiful, beautiful figure. Highly recommend you grabbing him if you don't. And that is... WST Astro. Thanks again for checking the video, guys. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about him. Tell me if you have him. Tell me what other WSTs you have. Uh, and take a look. I will put a link up as well right now for... Uh, I did a video on my complete WST collection. So take a look at that and give me your thoughts as well. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the channel, guys. And we will see you again very soon. Thanks again for all the support.